Hi, I'm Carolyn Bean with Quiltmaker Magazine. I'm excited to share Quilty Baskets with you. This is our online 12-month Block of the Month series. It's available in three different colorways. There's the red and brown, all scrappy fabrics, scrappy blues and yellows, and scrappy greens. Each monthly kit has enough fabric to make a block basket and four string piece sections. You can find the kits at quiltandsewshop.com. You can also find the individual digital patterns. I'd like to show you how to make block 11. What I want to show you right now is how to make the center of this block. This is a little basket inside the larger basket. So if you'll notice, there is a little triangle square. I've got one right here and two triangles sewn on opposite sides of it like this. The main thing to keep in mind is that you want the triangles not to be the same. So you wouldn't want to sew it like this. You want to make sure that the opposite triangles are next to each other when you sew it together. Now you're going to add a flying geese unit to the top to make the basket top. And again, the thing to keep in mind is here you want these fabrics to match. So you have to be very careful when you're making your stitch and flip that these fabrics match. So when you're laying it out, laying out your patches, you'll want to sew, just like I have here, just keep in mind the orientation of the fabrics when you sew your stitch and flips. So from here, what you'll do, let's move these out of the way. From here, you'll sew this unit together with a triangle at the end. This makes the basket center. And you'll arrange your stitch and flip units like this. And fill in the rest of the block with the other patches that make the basket like this. Then when you sew them together, you're going to sew the square and one flying geese unit, a flying geese unit to the center. Once you have these two sewn, you'll sew them together. You'll add these pieces to either side, followed by the triangle at the bottom. Then you'll put this into the block itself. So to sew the block together, you're going to add the narrow strips around the small basket. So these two larger patches onto the basket, and that makes the bottom half of the basket. You'll sew the top half in rows. There's four different rows here. Add a triangle to the end, and then you'll sew this half to this half. Add the basket legs on either side, followed by the triangle at the bottom. And this will complete block 11. We hope you're enjoying sewing your quilty baskets. Please join our Sew Along at Quilters Club of America where you can sign up for a free membership to join in discussions, show your block photos, and ask questions. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below, share it on social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today.